Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and here we're going to have a look at how we can use the Tap 5A multi-line text background plugin to create this kind of effect along with some of the built-in transitions in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and get started and look at how we create this effect. So the first thing we're going to do is just wipe out the titles that we have already created um, so we can start from scratch. And then we're going to go ahead and install the plugin. So I will leave a link for this video below, but Basically, you want to download the, the TAP 5A multi-line text background plugin, this free Final Cut Pro plugin, from the link on this YouTube page. So if we scroll down, we can see the multi-line text background link here. And in the video that Tapio has created, um, there's a quick overview of the different effects that you can do with the plugin and the different styles you can create. Have a look at that. So really, it's really worth a quick watch. So we're going to go ahead and click here and download the plugin, and then we'll have a look at where we install that. So once we've downloaded it, we're going to go to the link here and show in Finder. If you don't see the link, then just jump to your, your Downloads folder. And to extract this zip, we're just going to double click on it. And inside here, we have a folder which contains the, the plugin itself. So we're looking for this TAP 5A multi-line plugin with a couple of images in there and then also this motion project, which is this little purple T. So then we're going to go ahead to our motion templates and titles folder for Final Cut Pro 10. So essentially any plugins that you install will go into this motion templates folder and we're going to have a look at how we do that. So we'll go back to the home folder by clicking on go and home up here. And in here we're looking for the movies folder into the motion templates and then into the titles folder. And in here we need to create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder by either right clicking and going to new folder or we can go up to file up here in the finder and create a new folder and we'll just call this tap 5a and once we've created that we're going to jump back to our downloads folder and we're just dragging across this folder within a folder so I'll drag this across and once that's dragged across, it will be installed in Final Cut Pro 10. So we can jump back into Final Cut Pro now. And if you go up to the top left, so you'll probably see your project here. We're going to go ahead into the titles and generators panel up here. And then we will click on titles and you should see the TAP 5A folder and then this multi-line text background plugin installed. So to add this to the timeline, we can just drag this right down. And then once we've done that, we're going to type in our own text. So if we hover over this and click on the options up here in the inspector. If you don't see your inspector, just go to window, show in workspace and make sure you have the inspector turned on. And you can see there's a few different options here for different properties of our plugin. We want to go to this series of lines which highlights the, the text and we're going to type in Beach Life San Pancho, which is the location of this beach in Mexico. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key on my timeline and duplicate this up twice so that we can create an individual layer of text for each of these lines. So what we want to do is remove two lines of text from each of these layers. So I'm going to click on the first one. And for the top layer, I'm just going to leave in San Pancho. Um, but I'm leaving those line breaks in there. So we need those three lines, otherwise things are going to overlap up there. And then for the second layer here, I'm going to delete Beach and San Pancho, so we end up with Life. And then for the last one here, I am going to delete Life and San Pancho, and we should still have everything looking the same here. But now you can see that if we stagger the beginning of these clips, we have these popping onto screen one at a time. So I'm just going to spread these out so we can have a nice slow timing for this. And so with these lines, I'm going to show two ways in which we can have these appear on screen. So I'm going to drag a marquee around all of these. So click and hold and drag around all of those. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt key and just make a second copy of those different layers that I'm going to use again in a minute. So for this first um, section, we're going to use um, some of the movement transitions. So if we scroll down, we're going to use the slide transition. Now this will only work really on the opening of the clip um, without nesting some layers and doing some crazy stuff in Final Cut Pro 10. 
I'm just going to highlight each of these clips individually and just do Command and G just to um, create just to create a connected storyline. And what that means is that when I drag the slide transition on, it's just going to add it to the front. If I don't group those first of all, then it's going to add it to the front and the end, and I'll just need to de delete the one at the end, which I don't want to have to do. So now I can drag these all on, and you can see now it's not rendered yet, so it's playing back a little slowly. So we'll just render this out. And once it's rendered out, um, all we need to do now is work on the, the timing. So we've got beach, and I really want life and San Pancho to follow that, not to kind of overlap it completely all at the same time. So we'll just adjust that. So now we'll play it back again. And then we can adjust the end of these so that they all pop off screen at the same time. And actually for the end, we're just going to use a basic cross dissolve. Um, sometimes when you duplicate transitions from one connected clip to another, I've found it can cause issues from time to time. So sometimes just dragging them on individually is a better idea. So we'll render that out. So now we have this text comes on and then fades out nicely. So for this next clip, um, we're going to do something slightly different. Um, we're going to group these again. So Command and G to group those. And then again, we are going to come down to the wipes this time. Um, and then with the wipe, um, we're going to, it's basically going to reveal the type. So if we drag this onto the beginning here, and again, I'll just stretch these out so they're not all playing back at the same time and we'll render this so we've dragged the wipe individually onto each of those connected clips i'm going to hit the space bar and you can see we get this nice reveal of the type and then again um, we'll use a dissolve at the end so a nice cross dissolve shorten that up so it's nice and quick at the end Snapping's turned on um, here. So the little snapping symbol is blue. So that means we can line things up when we drag them to make those edits. And if we render this out, then you can see we get this nice text effect. There are some little bugs that can pop up when you're layering multiple things up in this way, um, but this seems to be working pretty well now. And the other last thing that we can do, and this is specific to this plugin, is we can go ahead into the type options and we'll just actually pick out some of the preset colors that I've got here for the backgrounds. And we will change it up a little bit so we have a nice multi-line and multi-colored set of type popping on there. Okay, so that's quickly how to create a slide on effect um, using the TAP5A multi-line text background plugin um, and transitions in Final Cut Pro 10. If any bugs pop up when you're creating this, then leave a message below. It can happen. Um, I mean, I've definitely encountered them. So I hope that tutorial has been useful. And if you have any questions, then keep them coming. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.